I want you to imagine this hypothetical situation for a minute. Your phone rings. You pick it up. It's your spouse. Let's say it's your wife. And she's asking for details about your checking account because she's saying she wants to deposit some money in there this afternoon. You give her the information. You don't think twice about it. A couple hours goes by. You actually check your account and you notice that a ton of money is actually missing from your account. After doing some research, you discover that you weren't talking to your wife at all. You were talking to a robot, deep fake AI, deep fake artificial intelligence. This is becoming a huge problem more and more so. And I'm going to continue the high growth AI stock series today and cover a stock that you might own that owns the smaller company that helps combat against deep fake AI. So you could actually own this smaller business through the stock you own and not even realize it. You're going to want to learn more about this one, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, do I have your attention now? I bet you I do. Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to continue the high growth AI artificial intelligence stock series. Now, this actually is an interesting company owned by a larger fintech company, and you're going to want to learn more about this because it's pretty cool stuff. Now, until recently, if I would have told you what I said in the intro, you would have thought I was desperate for a good night's sleep. You thought I was nuts, right? There's no way you could possibly believe that somebody else is your spouse. That's just not possible. But with AI powered synthetic media like deep fix on the rise scenarios like the one I explained in the intro are actually happening in real life guys in fact guys just in September of 2019 the very first the world's very first AI powered cybercrime happened and they've been happening since and it uses a technology called speech synthesis kind of like we mentioned in the intro these were able to convince an energy executive into thinking he was on the phone with his parent company CEO tricking him into writing a check for over $250,000, oops. <laughs> this is actually really interesting, especially if you're a Joe Rogan fan, so definitely stay tuned for this. So to build public awareness about the risk of AI deep, deep fake technology, a few months ago, we shared our own example of the technology with the public. Using a proprietary speech synthesis model they built called Real Talk, engineers of the company recreated the voice of podcaster Joe Rogan. Now you can go check out this video on YouTube if you'd like, but it definitely raised some eyebrows. It got a lot of attention. People started thinking, oh my goodness, and you probably saw some of this. Maybe you saw some on YouTube or you saw something on TV. You're seeing more and more of this stuff. I see it on TikTok all the time, actually. Okay, wait up, guys. Hold up. I'm editing this in. This is Fired Up Wealth. I'm going to actually bring the video to you, the audio, so you can hear it right on my video so you don't have to go search for it. Here it is. Being a robot has its benefits. Being a robot has its benefits. I can pronounce tongue twisters now. Check this out. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Also, since my brain is connected to the internet, I've become a medical expert. Did you know that the membrane and otolaryngology are not autocorrelations? Hey, Joe Rogan, it's me, Joe Rogan. Please come save me, man. These artificial intelligence guys have trapped me in a machine. I've never told this story before, but on Thanksgiving weekend, I was doing a set at the comedy store and some idiot ran up on stage. He comes up to me during the middle of my set and tells me that we are in a simulation. The guy was drunk out of his mind. He was so drunk that he couldn't stand up straight. So we all laughed at him and let security escort him out. But now that we have deep fakes and fake voices, I'm starting to believe that we're not far off from simulations after all. So that's it, guys. That's actually fake. That's deep fake of Joe Rogan's voice. Pretty scary stuff. So this company actually detects audio deep fakes with AI. So they're combating a form of AI with AI. It doesn't get any cooler than that, right? So as mentioned earlier, guys, you know, these can be very terrifying, these deep fakes, right? So building tools that can accurately determine what's real and what's fake could be a huge deal. It could be very important, right? As machine learning practitioners, we have the capabilities to do this and can help mitigate a real world problem with drastic consequences. How it works. To discern real and fake audio, the detector uses visual representations of audio clips 
called spectrograms, which are also used to train speech synthesis models. But basically, you can kind of see this example here. It shows you the difference in the audio, and the computer is smart enough to tell the difference, but our ears aren't necessarily <laughs> as smart as the computer and can't tell the difference all the time. So while to the unsuspecting ear, they sound basically identical, but spectrograms of real audio versus fake audio actually look different when you break them down on those diagrams, okay? And you can see they've done a lot of work in this stuff. There's a whole lot of information on here. Build your own deep fake detector, so on and so forth. So what company am I talking about, guys? Who owns this business? First of all, what's the business I'm talking about and who owns them? Stay tuned. Okay, so this is really interesting. I'm giving you away the parent company, Square. Square is the next pick in the AI series. I wanted to add some more FinTech. I really like Square's business. I even like the price of the stock. Below $250 is the long-term investment. And so I wanted to include Square in this AI growth stock series. Now, back in February of 2020, they acquired this company and I've never really heard anybody talk about it. And as I started digging more into it, I was blown away by it, especially how they might integrate it into Square, into, into Cash App. So the firm that they acquired is called Dessa. And I had never heard of it before. I just stumbled across it when I was doing some research for Square. And you're going to want to learn more about this company and how Square can use this company to benefit. Okay, guys. So Square, financial services, mobile company. We know what Square is about, right? Headed by Jack Dorsey, announced it's acquiring Toronto-based AI research startup Dessa, formerly known as DeepLearning.ng. Square said the purchase will bolster its machine learning and AI capabilities as it looks to improve its products and pass the benefits along to the customers around the world. Dessa is a leader in a variety of machine learning technologies, Square said in the release, noting that the team will continue working out of its Toronto office with no immediate changes. So they've left this business basically intact and it can actually still sell its products. It's not just focused on helping Square. It actually is kind of a, a company within Square's umbrella. So kind of like a conglomerate underneath their umbrella. So they're still running it as an individual firm, the same leadership, same team, everything like that. So no immediate changes to existing products, customers, or business operations. Dessa's co-founders will continue to lead the team. Toronto is a global hub for machine learning and research and development. We're excited to expand our presence in the city's growing tech sector by further investing in Canadian engineering talent. So Dessa offers some products in Atlas and Orbit, both part of its foundations platform. And basically just real quick on this guy, guys, Atlas lets developers run, manage, and evaluate up to thousands of AI experiments on premise or in the cloud. So pretty cool stuff that you can do with this. They're most known for their deep fake recognition technology. Joining Square allows us to continue to evolve what's possible with applied machine learning and double down on our commitment to do so. From day one, Square has been a champion of economic empowerment for people who might otherwise be left behind by traditional financial institutions. We're excited to build new tools and products with machine learning at Square that will make finance easier for customers around the world. And so this is really interesting because when you think of what Square is doing and how they're trying to expand, I started thinking about it. I was like, well, I wonder what Square is doing around AI because it feels like that could be really powerful for Square's business as well. And so I started Googling, you know, Square plus AI, and I ran into this Dessa company they acquired. I think there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and I could spend probably two hours going through it. So to give you a quick example, guys, right here on Dessa's website, you can go to Dessa.com, Cash App from Square. As part of Square's ecosystem, Dessa works closely with Cash App, a consumer finance app that makes money more accessible for millions of people. Drawing from the latest AI research, our team is developing cutting edge applications to create a new generation of cash app products. Now, it doesn't really go into a lot of detail, but essentially what I'm gathering from this is behind the scenes, Square is working with Dessa to do some really cool things around AI and machine learning. I already like Square stock to begin with. I own it. I've actually bought it back in 2017, shortly after it became public, and I've held it long ever since. And Square, I think, is going to be the future of fintech. You know, I've got a few names that I like in, the, in this space, but Square is definitely top on that list. I like it under $250, guys. I hope this video is helpful. If it is helpful, smash the like button button, drop me a comment, share the video. I appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.